it takes like 30, 36 hours and the weather can be rough. But when we arrive at Marbella, I feel like at home. Marbello is an oceanic island, very far away from the coast. When I arrived the first time in 87, I think I became in love of Marbello. <laughs> People think it's just a rock, but in this basaltic, volcanic rock, there's always a lot of surprises. You cannot see all these animals, endangered species, in a lot of places. Animals normally live near the coast, and this island is really an oasis in the middle of the ocean. So this area is very important. But we had pressures with fisheries. This did a lot of damage for a lot of different species. I just feel I had to do something for this special place. I asked the government to make a reserve of Malpelo. In 95, Malpelo became a sanctuary of fauna and flora in the national parks. But at that time, it was a very small area. Nothing, really nothing. Entonces, acá en el pasado, ahí está la pared. We start doing expeditions at least two times per year and show the importance of this area. In 2000, I created the Malpelo Foundation to help Malpelo have strong regulations. Then Malpelo became also a hotspot of Mission Group. One year we stop to do research is one year without information. I want this place protected forever.